So without a doubt, this is probably going to be uh, the second video. Um, the Tokyo Ghost Giant Sized Artist Proof Edition has come. This is issue one and two, and I have just so excited with it because I finally get to see like a better size lettering should be done um, these narrative bars and whatnot um, so I'm trying a few things out with issue six and just being able to see the scales of these panels helps out so much um, I'll show you what I'm talking about um, so let me see if I can find where I was. Oh, don't look at that. I said don't. <laughs> um, so here you have um, the start of issue six. And if you recall from issue five, the end, they find a broke down or a bus that's crashed into a tree. And I want to start it off with uh, Zeke trying to get the hood popped open so he can take a look at it. And uh, since he's a mechanic, get it up and running. Um, so these were the first two pages. Um, you have these panels. Uh, give me a sec. That should help with the audio too, I'm sure. Um, so you have these panels up top. Uh, I was going to go with one large one where it shows him coming up to the bus uh, and then three on the side where he has a crowbar in the hood trying to pop it open finally gets it and then he looks at the hood uh, and then the second one uh, he's basically kick kick uh, from the fourth issue if you recall um, that's the sound of him ratcheting on something um, I'm probably gonna get very detailed with these panels um, but you have him ratcheting on one side, then you have him ratcheting on the other side, and then this large bang. Um, so when the artist proof came, I was looking at it and realizing like what size scale things should be, and I reformed the whole page. Um, I have this black silhouette of the tree that's gonna be in the background. Um, this is probably the most ambitious page that I've done, and it's going to be the first one in issue six. Um, so I really want to take my time, figure out. I also want to do these narration bars um, along the page, just kind of leading your leading your eye. So uh, I've changed it. So you have this sidebar where he walks up to it, um, looks at it. It's jammed up against the tree pretty good, and then it has the three bars going down the middle instead of on the side so then he has this side one where he looks at under the hood um, right here is where it will be popping <laughs> and then he'll be ratcheting on both sides and then that huge bang from the middle of page two will actually be the page turn um, so this is all page one uh, and it is going very well I'm digging the design of it uh, I really hope you can see this pretty well. Um, I have gone back to just a regular blue pencil. Um, it's a little easier to erase. Um, but I feel... So, brand new one. Issue 6. Um, I felt like the lines were limiting me. Um, and I really want 6 to be this organic feeling. Like, very very unstructured design um, I'll get to that probably near the end of the issue um, but this is how it's shaping up to be so he comes up um, I had this sweet Motu reference uh, he holds up the crowbar he's like I have the power so you have this scene where he walks up to it uh, these things lining down the middle where you follow the narration and it goes uh, quick tune up should do the trick I think I could save the old girl if I could pop this god damn hood oh so I should change that to if I can 
get this goddamn hood too and then follow the sound effects and it'll just be popping right there uh, so then when he looks into the hood he realizes what he has to do um, so utter shit and then you come back down here and he's ratcheting on the side ratcheting on the side um, right here there will be the tree lines from both sides um, I will also be doing a large tree down here um, it'll be the indentations from the tree like running up the sides too kind of giving this feel of the tree in the middle of the page um, it's also runs down to this so I'm really excited about the outlines of the panels um, but you have them ratcheting on this side ratcheting on this side ratcheting on this side ratcheting on this side obviously and then this big bang at the bottom uh, and that's the first page so I'm pretty excited about how that happened or that how that came together I'm not sure if that reads well I think it does uh, either way it's gonna be left uh, I just gotta change this word and uh, yeah that'll be page one of issue six another thing I forgot to mention um, I hope you can tell just the difference in the size of the font of these ones it's probably about a third of what I was uh, typically doing with the other pages um, I re I'm really squinching that down because I really think I can get more detail and whatnot in the page um, and I don't think the words and narration are that big a part of the story because I really want to show what's happening um, I'll see just how detailed I can get um, I think it'll probably show him really detailed with engine work like you can see half the engine right here I think the other side of the half or half of the engine is going to be covered up with this big bang sound effect but uh, I think this engine bay is going to be very detailed uh, you'll see him with a ratchet socket wrench and whatnot um, I might put a toolbox yeah actually let's let's put a toolbox So you got that toolbox and then you have this tree coming down here so um, that will give us a good narration for the page and I'm pretty excited to uh, start seeing where two and three are going to come together.